Meet Thomas Douglas. He was born in Scotland on June 20th, 1771. He was the seventh son of Dunbar Douglas, the fourth Lord of Selkirk, and his wife Helen Hamilton. He went to the University of Edinburgh to become a lawyer. While working there, he noticed poor Scottish farmers who had little to no land to live and make money off of. Suddenly, all his family started dying over time from a variety of causes following his father's death in 1799. Thomas became the fifth Lord of Selkirk and was given the family fortune. Being called Lord Selkirk meant he had a title of nobility in Scotland. Before I tell you how he used his large amount of power and money, you need to get to know these three groups. The Métis. The Métis are people of European and First Nations descent. At this time, majority of them lived on the Red River Valley and spoke French. Hudson Bay Company. A group of European settlers who traded fur and owned Rupert's Land, which Red River Valley was in. Northwest Company, French fur traders who lived in Quebec and had strong ties with the Métis. Lord Selkirk wanted to use his power and political connections to gain control over Red River Valley to settle Scottish farmers on. He first talked to the British government. Sorry, Lord Selkirk, we can't help you. The Red River Valley is a part of Rupert's Land, which is owned by Hudson Bay Company. You'll have to talk to them, said the British government. After a few months of talking and negotiating with Hudson Bay Company, Lord Selkirk gained control of the Red River Valley with these following agreements. Lord Selkirk would supply Hudson Bay Company with 200 men per year. His settlers will not participate in the fur trade. The first colonization attempt was in 1812, consisting of 128 people led by the new governor, Miles MacDonnell. Arriving later in the season, they built their houses but had no hope of growing crops. The colony became reliant on the support of the Métis food-wise. Even with a growing full season the next year, the colony never thrived. The outcomes of this colony never thriving were The Pemmican Proclamation, which banned the exportation of food from Red River Valley. The Battle of Seven Oaks, which ended up in the death of 21 Hudson's Bay men and one Métis. Lord Selkirk's death in 1820. And Northwest Company and Hudson Bay Companies merging into one company. All these large events were caused because of one man's power. The disparities between the Métis, Hudson Bay Company, and Northwest Company is the whole reason why they didn't just get along the whole time. The only time relationships can be altered for the good is when everyone's needs are looked at and acknowledged.